What's up, ladies and gentlemen? All right, quick one. Well, not so quick. I got to replace some rotted stairs. You can see it's an older house. The customer requests he just wants to replace the stairs. So we're going to replace these. We're going to take all this out. You're going to use a pry bar, obviously. You're going to use a hammer. And we're going to take this out nice and easy. We're going to see what's underneath. And we're going to rebuild the staircase. Then we're going to finish it off with a white paint. Both rises and runs. And we got another one back here. Take a quick walk to the back. And as you can see, we got some more rot. These are coming out also. Looks like they used a one, like a one by something as a as a rise. I don't know. It's put together. Pretty shabby. We're gonna rip all this out and redo it too. So stay tuned. Let's get to it. Again, use your pry bar, safety glasses. You use gloves if you want, but we're gonna take all these stairs out. So let's rip them out and see what we have. All right after removing a bunch of the rot, you can see they're all rotted. They're gonna come out. But you can see how it's attached underneath. All right, this house is close to I think it's a little over 100 years old. So I'm going to get under there, we're going to put some brackets, some bracing. We're going to get some, uh, I'm going to get the 2 by 6s we're going to double them up um, for the runs and for the rises. We're going to get some one by, and uh, yeah, that'll be it. So let me rip all this stuff out, throw it in the truck, and then take a ride to the depot and we'll get what I need. It's all out, it's all gutted. Get rid of your debris, load your truck. And I took some measurements. I'm going to take a ride again to the, like I said, to the depot, get the materials I need. We're going to go with pressure treated. All right. And uh, that'll be it. I did the same in the back. Let's go take a look. The other side, these are actually in good shape. They're not rotted. They're very sturdy. And we're going to go with uh, some pressure treated lumber again, and we're going to put our rises and runs together, measure them out, screw them in. And this one's even better. It's sitting on a, a concrete pad. When you're cutting your stringers, for your repair or your deck or whatever you're building you don't want to cut past you don't want to go past past this guy here so just make a nice clean cut that's right use the multi-tool some people use the handsaw i use a multi-tool watch how easy it comes out do one side doing this with one hand so then we come in on this side here How nice that comes out it's nice and clean and you don't want to cut too much into here this is your this is where you need the meat okay for the strength that's it use your multi-tool to cut those pieces out we're back here what I'm doing is I'm using two by six I couldn't get any deck boards and I'm running two of them across with a space so water can drain through because they rotted out before and the one buys instead of that I used the two by four doubled it up just boxed it out and this is gonna last just as long I'm gonna give it a paint coat outdoor paint primer to protect from the weather the runs are pressure treated okay and so are the stringers I didn't film the stringers but it's pretty basic you're gonna use run a two by ten across the backside use some uh, uh, what do you call it choice hangers or what I do double them up nice and strong and I'm just boxing this guy out and when I'm finished on this little side here I'll cut a little one by just to cover it so no animals get in but that's it we got some scrap we're gonna head to the back and we're gonna put the rises and runs on those other stringers all right so that's pretty much it it's basic these you got to cut every one because you could see the stone sides I wanted to fit it as close as possible if you look here I cut kind of a little angle on that 2 by, you know, just to make it look all right. And it's as close as I'm going to get it. And once it's all painted, the rises and runs, we're going to paint it white. Again, the top deck, all the rod on top wasn't a part of the deal. Just the uh, staircase. All right, so we're going to finish this up. We're going to head off to the backyard, do that. And uh, that's it. Wait for some good weather. We're going to paint it, and we're finished. All right, this one's pretty much done. But when you if you see the bottom there, that rises from here it's only about 
two inches up to about three and a half, okay? I was able to describe it all the way across. It looks pretty good. It fits nice. It's it's tight. Can't get any closer. And it looks good. All right, we're going to go out to the back. Getting back to uh, custom cutting your rises, just to make it a little bit uh, easier to understand. Right here, it's uneven because the ground, everything's uneven. This is an old house. So these pieces have to be cut. Um, pretty much every, every rise has to be cut to a uh, certain length. So what you're going to do is you put a full piece at the bottom, full piece of the 2x4, which I'm using. All right. Then you take your top piece and you hold it up like this against the bottom. And then you take your pencil. Let me see if I could just, it's very simple. Hold it while you scribe. Hold it and then scribe all the way across from one side to the other. Take it off. You'll have a mark. And then you cut it. And if you can see here, see my line, I cut it, okay? Then we can take our full piece again at the end, and we can just fit it right up in here like a puzzle, just like this, and that's what you come up with, all right? Again, you have these stones. I want to try to get as close as I can to the stones. Um, that's, that, that's as good as I'm going to get it. And uh, then I'm just going to throw a couple of screws there. And that's it. We got a nice little overhang. And it looks good. It's all boxed in. So that's how you measure an uneven uh, rise if you're doing an old house or an uneven concrete foundation or something. So the back one's done. Uh, the first two rises I had to cut like I showed you. And then the bottom one kind of leveled out. Looks good. We're going to come back in the spring. We're going to paint this. We're going to do something with the decking, too. It'll, it'll be nice. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait a minute. Yo, Sonny. Where are you, Sonny? Are you in this mess? You're not in this mess. Oh, I know where he is. He's hiding behind. Sonny? Oh, hell no. It's Halloween. I'm not going under that porch. Sonny! Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, share, and like the video, kid. We'll catch you on the next one. Yes, Sonny.